Hi, my name is Peter Warner, and I grew up in Highland Park on Hazel Avenue, about a block away from Lake Michigan. And tonight I'm going to read a poem by the great Detroit poet Philip Levine. And what I love about Levine is that he is direct. He's no nonsense. He's not even particularly poetic. And yet I find his work incredibly moving because he creates indelible images in my mind that I don't forget. This is a poem called Belle Isle, 1949, and even though it's about swimming in the Detroit River, it reminds me of um, swimming in Lake Michigan with my brother and my friends, as I used to do every summer, and I still do uh, whenever I come home. Belle Isle, 1949. We stripped in the first warm spring night and ran down into the Detroit River to baptize ourselves in the brine of car parts, dead fish, stolen bicycles, melted snow. I remember going under hand in hand with a Polish high school girl I'd never seen before, and the cries our breath made caught at the same time on the cold, and rising through the layers of darkness into the final moonless atmosphere that was this world. The girl breaking the surface after me and swimming out on the starless waters towards the lights of Jefferson Avenue and the stacks of the old stove factory unwinking. Turning at last to see no island at all, but a perfect calm dark as far as there was sight, and then a light and another riding low out ahead to bring us home. Or boats, maybe, or smokers walking along Back panting to the gray coarse beach we didn't dare fall on, the damp piles of clothes and dressing side by side in silence to go back where we came from. There's no car parts or dead fish or stolen bicycles in Lake Michigan. Well, there's certainly dead fish, but I do re yeah, I actually remember the owl wives epidemic uh, when there was huge piles of owl wives and the, the uh, beaches weren't particularly beautiful then as they are now. Um, in any case, uh, it's a very evocative poem, and uh, I appreciate the project, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Thank you very much. Bye.